Madden Football is one of the largest releases each year for every console and portable system. It makes its way to almost every gaming device available. Apple's iOS devices are no slouch in the gaming world, so it's no surprise that Madden graces its presence even on the iPad and iPhone screens. Now I've played all the different versions and I was really looking forward to Madden 12 on the iPad to see the improvements that hopefully took place. My name is Tony from the Classically Gaming and Electronic Podcast, and today I'm reviewing Madden 12 HD for the Apple iPad. Let's jump right into the gameplay. Madden 12 takes a lot of hints from its big brother on the console, and the focus this year was not as much on the gameplay changes as it was on the presentation. The only problem with that on the iOS devices is that unlike the console versions, the portable Madden gameplay has not yet been ironed out. So just making presentation changes will not cut it like it will on the console versions, who already respectively have held their ground with solid gameplay mechanics. That's exactly what's happened in Madden 12 for the iPad. The graphics have slightly improved, some of the presentation has been improved, but in reality it just feels like you're playing Madden 11 HD for the iPad all over again, and there's just not that many improvements. Probably the most notable feature is the improved hot route button. Although this was present in the 11 version, it's kind of been revamped. In the bottom left hand screen when on offense, you can go into this blimp view of the field and actually drag in live mode your receiver's hot routes and then go back to your play. So it's really cool. It kind of reminds me of what they were doing with the Wii version a couple years ago. And it actually works well. The rest of the gameplay stays pretty much in touch with last year's title. Some minor animation differences, but not much. Even more disappointing is we actually see less modes in the game this year. We only see quick play, exhibition, season, and playoffs. It's even missing some modes that it had from last year's game. Probably the biggest complaint and letdown I have of Madden 12 is there's still no online multiplayer or local multiplayer in this game, which for me in a Madden game is a must. With every large player in the iOS developer market successfully integrating multiplayer into their games, there's no reason why Madden 12 iPad should not have it. It does have the EA Origin access for achievement comparison with friends, but in my mind that's a weak substitute. I don't want to sound all negative. Madden 12 HD is fun to play, it allows for a great looking football game on the go, especially if you're into single player experiences or if you have an iPhone 4 or iPad 2 you get a really refined and good graphical experience. I really do enjoy playing it. There's still great things like audible calls, game flow, and the ability to play a full season on the go. But Madden is a large release every year and it deserves to be judged on the higher plane. That's why I'm criticizing it. Graphically as I stated it's probably the strongest point of this year's title. The presentation, art, and character models look better. The controls are still the same, it's definitely not as precision as the console, but the players are responsive and works well. When the animations and you get kind of bundled up on the screen, it kind of makes things kind of choppy from time to time, but it's not bad. In conclusion, you can't help but feel that EA Mobile released Madden 12 for the iOS just kind of as shovelware. If you're a diehard fan, if you love the roster updates, you're probably going to want to pick this one up for great football on the go. But if you're just a so-so fan, kind of like myself, you're probably going to get by about playing last year's version. This one offers no new noteworthy additions worth the cost of purchasing the new title. Thanks again for listening to Classic Leet Reviews. Make sure you check out our podcast at classicleet.com and like us on facebook.com backslash classicleet.